Oh, looks like the hatchet is big. Guys, look at this. Dude, look at that skew's not perfect. They call those split skew. So you're here because you just purchased a Diamondback Terrapin. Good on you. They're wonderful pets. And now you're wondering, is this a boy or a girl? So are you a boy or a girl? They don't talk English, so how are we going to figure it out? By the end of this video, you're going to be a pro. You're going to be able to tell everybody about it and I'll start dropping that edumacation. On that note, I got a whole playlist of the mom laying eggs to these guys being incubated and hatching. And now they're here, they still haven't eaten yet, and they, they, they've never even been on water. But you're here because you want to differentiate this diamond back from this diamond back. And are they boys and girls, bigger ones, smaller ones, different shapes and sizes? We're going to get into that. We are pushing for a thousand subscribers before 2022. Please be a part of it. So what I'm trying to say is if you sex your turtles right, okay, no innuendos, then you can end up with one of these hatchling diamondback terrapins out of the incubator. There's no more egg tooth, so if you missed that video, go check it out. It's so cute, they don't last forever. Those egg tooths fall off quickly, and that's what's left of the egg yolk. Let's get to the real video. How to determine your turtle's gender. And these are the first two terrapins we're gonna be looking at here. Uh, you guys might recognize this one if you follow me on Instagram. If you do, put the name in the comments for the people below. The reason I brought these two out here is because they are roughly the same size. If it's this size, the only way to know is to ask the person that sold it to you or have them ask the breeder for you, okay? That is the only way at this size and it's not even a guarantee although it is pretty accurate. So back to these lovely two. Uh, if you notice, these guys are a little bit bigger. I brought these because you can't sex turtles unless they're at least four inches large. And these are about a little over four inches, okay, like four and a quarter or something like that. And when I'm talking about four and a half inches, I'm talking about the top of the carapace to the bottom um, in a straight line too. First indicator is gonna be the shell. If they're this big, man, that's a female because males don't rarely get bigger than this. And uh, if they do, it's not by much, okay? So if it's this big, you are got you got yourself a mama. But again, anything under this size, you could still have potentially a female. So let's get into all the other clues so you can be a better job at identifying male versus female. Very similar to the redder slider video that I posted a couple weeks ago. Ooh, fly. The tails are another big indicator once they're at least four inches. So look at hers. Uh, on my left, I'm shaking her here. Look at her tail and his tail. I mean, there's almost like a clear, like his is just as long, just looking at it, just as long as hers, if not bigger, right? Longer, thicker, right? Just look at those tails, look at that. That's the first indicator. The long, thick tail with diamondback terrapins, that's gonna be a male. <laughs> Got some nails on that dude. So after I put it like this. Hey, which brings us to our next point, nail. Okay, so this is the female and here's the male. In redder sliders, you'll see that the males got long claws, but you won't see that in diamondback terrapins. They have roughly the same claw lengths. I can try and show them this way for you as well. Let me see if I can get that claw to Hold still. Look, the nails aren't aren't much bigger from the other at all. I mean, their hands are so yeah. Look how squishy. I know they're so soft. So don't use claw length as an indicator, not for this species anyway. For diamondback terrapins, there's no markings that are going to tell you if this is a male or a female. I'm sorry, uh, it's just not that easy. But don't worry, we're not done. You can be a pro. I don't have any footage of it, but the mating dance. I can reenact it for you though. <laughs> they're gonna follow the females like this, right? And then they're gonna swim around the female like this. And they're going to do this to the female and then try to do this to the female. <laughs> so if you see that behavior, the little one on top is usually the male. I've never seen a female do that ever. When the females are young, sometimes they'll do a similar behavior. I've seen them smell and come around but I've never seen them smell, come around, and then try to go all the way back over its shell 
and do this. I've never seen that with Diamondback Cameron Prints. If you've seen that, let me know. Let us all know. Post it down in the comments. Try and send me that footage as well, and I'll update the channel. Got this little cutie. And the last thing we're gonna talk about is the head shape. Take a look at these two heads here. I know one is bigger, so you think, okay, bigger, that means bigger head. But if you look generally at the shapes of their heads, one is like wider. Here, you can get a look this way too. One is pointier and one is thicker. So usually if you got a head getting this big, but the turtle's this small, something like this, so these two are roughly the same size, right? But check out the faces. Let me see if I can get them to square off here a little bit. So one, despite the obvious pattern difference, um, you can see that the head, they're the same size, but look at the head size difference here. One is thicker, the other one's more streamlined, right? I don't know if you can see that. They have the same diet, so you can't say one has a stronger jaw feature or anything, but. Uh, for these species, when they have, when they eat a lot of hard food, you know, some of the map turtles too, they can get a really big head dome piece. But take a look at that. Slight difference, but when you see it enough, it's you know clear as day uh, just by looking at the just just by looking at the head difference. Look at that. Even at every angle I look at this, at this size, I know which one's the female. It's definitely this one. You little rascal. And at this size, let's look at the tails one more time. Look at that, about the same size, huge difference. If you can't tell by the tail size, let me know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go into further detail, but look at that from both angles. And this is at four inches, roughly you can tell, something like that, okay? I'm just a guy that loves turtles, uh, terrapins in particular. So if you have any recommendations for the channel or how to distinguish male from female, please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for any help that you offer our Shell Squad community. The shell is beautiful. So if you haven't done it yet, please subscribe. We are trying to hit 1,000 subscribers before 2022. Let's show how strong our turtle community is. And if you want to become more involved and a serious supporter of this channel, check out my Patreon. Okay, you guys, I got a surprise for you. You might really love it. Look at her. But if you put it in a shade, like here, and be quiet, she moves. Shell out, Shell Squad. Shell Woo! Squad leader, signing off. Bye, you guys. Oh my gosh, you're fired. You can't fire her. <laughs> I can't fire, I'm not paying her? <laughs> yeah, you're not even paying her, so how can you fire her? You're still fired. <laughs>